I made it just in time. Oh, it's a little early anyway. How you doing, Don? I'm good. Oh, we are live. Okay. Cool. We are live. We are live. Cool. I had to get had to get my uh, refreshments. Tonight's show is brought to you by James. I'm going Jameson tonight. The cool. Monkey is monkey shoulders a little bit. Man, I'll tell you, it kicks you. I think it's got a lot of more kick. I think Scotch has more kick than Jameson. Probably the same proof and whatever, you know, 80 or whatever mm -hmm. it is, 80 proof or I get all that shit mixed up from. I, I need to go back to bartending school. <laughs> I got you. All right. Um, so we got, oh, we got five. Looks more like more than five people. More than five there. people there. Go hack back. was first tonight. Cool hack. Hack, I love your guitar, dude. You son of a gun. Hey, Mitch, let me ask you a question. You can, can you teach me tonight? Is it real hard? If I bring up this guitar they have at Bill's, mm -hmm. I don't think I, 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 it's it's a gold top, which I love. I like a gold right, top. Right. But uh, I really want a, what do you call a honey burst? Is that what it's called? Hack the, the like uh, yellowish, kind of like what you have, but more ye yellowish, almost the color of like Mitch's uh, name is in all yellow, that, but in a burst. Is that what we have? Bur we have bursts, right? It Blue, yeah, we got blueberry burst. We, we have. got and what is ha hack? That last one was uh, what's that called? Hack. What's yours I can called? What kind of burst is yours called? Hack. Gorgeous guitar. Sounds good too. First rounds on speed for hire. Cool. <laughs> Cheers. Honey or iced tea burst. So let me do this. Let me do this while people are getting in there. You want to say hi to everybody? Well, you can do that tonight. Hi, everybody. Paul Lou, Dan in New Jersey, Janice, Mark Tanner, Guitar Hack, Speed for Hire. Uh, your your good friend Bill Ridenauer. Hey Bill, what's happening? Let's see if I can find this. Take forever. Use gear. That's Mike Channer Music. Thing. Hello, Mike. Uh, electric guitar. Oh, I hate it. All right, electric guitars, Gibson. What? Mm -hmm. right, I guess I got to go through all of them. So anyway, there's this guitar, vintage 81. Here it is. All right, now. How do I share it? Do I, do I need the? You had, you would click on share. See it on the bottom there, right? And sh I... share screen. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So, share, mm -hmm. share screen. And then you should have an option. You got to pick which tab or whatever tab right. it's on. I think. Follow these steps to share. Don't show these to share screen. I'm sharing us. How do I get to the one that I have? Oh, here it is. Do I need the URL? No, you just got to click on it. All right. Um, let me go back to StreamYard. Can't. I think you can share it. I don't know if I have to share Window. it. You should, you should still be able to share it, I think. All I'm getting is either the, the, the chat or the screen of us two. No, you, give me the link. I'll share it. Just, say, right, just type right. it in. Just copy it in here. I'll be able yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Get rid of that. All right. I wish I wasn't such a uh, all right, copy. Go see. So I can put it in the um in the pop up chat, right? Yep. All right. Uh, pop up chat. There you go. Oh Paste. God. See if it comes up from that. Anyway, okay. this thing is a 1981 Gibson Heritage Series standard 80 mm -hmm. Les Paul gold top with hard shell case, and my. The biggest, the reason I didn't play it is, oh, non-original Tim Shaw pickups. What does that mean, non-original? So they're not from, they're Tim Shaw pickups, but they're not from, see, that, 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 I think they're nuts asking $5,000 for this guitar. 
if it doesn't have, if they're not, you know, you know, so who knows? Can you, can you see it? Um, I think they can see it. Wait a second. You should I'm be able to see back it. Back to StreamYard. Yeah, there it is. But if you look at the description, mm -hmm. it says non-original tin. Now, uh, I was talking to Jesse's guitar about this, and uh, he said that Tim Shaw used to work for Gibson, used to make their, he was, you know, one of their, mm -hmm. he left, but, you know, he was very, they were very popular. And I always liked the gold top because when I went and saw uh, Steve Miller at the Civic Center, he played it. He had a gold top Les Paul for that show. That was during the Joker days, you know, the, the album, The Joker. Mm -hmm. So anyway. So but, Dylan, it, Dylan, let me hack will know about it and Gussie will know about it. He's got, yeah. they both have. Uh, so let me, let me bring up the pop up chat and see if I'm getting any. Here we go. Uh, hey, Gussie. PJ, PJ, is it, is it PJ Co Kobe? Col yeah. Colby. Dwight, the Hitman Bailey's there. There's large hey, guitars. Dwight. Larry. You said hi to everybody else. And I'll, I'll say hi again to everybody. Janice is there. Did you say hi, Janice? Yes. Okay. I hi, Janice that. again. I was, I was stupid. We'll say hi to Janice again. Don't want to leave her out. So, Hack, I'm not getting any feedback. What? Uh, two questions. What's the name of the... Uh, uh burst that you have on your new les paul your new used les paul and um non-original means that the guitar yeah i know it doesn't i didn't come with those oh i see so they are tim shaw pickups but they aren't the gibson tim shaw i got you okay that makes sense so i might go play it and see see if i can chisel them it'll be you could find a custom shot i know i could but i'm not by i hey Dan, here's the problem. I got to find a custom shop that I can touch and play. I'm not buying a guitar for that much money through the mail. Not going to do it. Yeah, Miss, I don't want a Bigsby. Thanks. Thanks, Dwight. But uh, Blue, that's cool. But I, I, I have I have my Blue guitar. Tobacco burst. Okay, cool. Tobacco I was gonna say root I beer. I was gonna, say root, I was gonna say root beer, but I knew it wasn't yeah, root beer. It, it looks like root beer. <laughs> so is an 80s standard heritage? Is that a cool any you know anything about them? Uh no, I don't, but I know Hack no, and, Hack, and, Hack, and Hack, Gussie, you know anything about them? Gussie knows a lot about um Les Pauls and Fender amps, right. a whole lot. Well, anyway. Anybody else, when, when you're in your uh, Hujimabot, your, uh, what's that, Discord? Yeah. Anybody, are you talking to any of those guys? Uh, give me some, you can share the feedback with me. I'm, I'm not getting into Discord. I have enough problems with with, with YouTube. Yeah, you have no problems turning the computer on. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers on that one, Mitch. You got me. And, but you're not lying. You're no, not I'm lying. I am. I'm taking Showing off my uh, my produce gu guitar dummy producers. We got Dave Stafford. We got Rick Romanelli, guitar hack. They all have great. All these guys have great. And then we have uh, Craig Reckless. He's been a little silent lately. He was. We we're gonna have him on as a guest, but I guess he never. You know, Discord is easy. I know Paul, but I, I just everything's easy. But I I I find a, ask Mitch. I'll find a way to make it difficult, right, Mitch? <laughs> I'm not. No comment. No comment. I mean, there's plenty of stuff. What I did today, like I was telling you, I fixed that intro from nine o'clock to uh, to put eight p.m. Right. I usually do it in, in OBS because I can do some things easier in OBS, believe it or not. Right. Well, easier to me, and so I tried to do it in DaVinci Resolve, and I did it with uh, cool. There you go. I have, yeah. Well, you infusion. You're you're a, you're, you're a good truck. You you. You've done so many different things. You, you generally are gonna. Oh my gosh! It's, it the, it's the Joe Wentz project. Hey, hey Joe, Joe, what's happening? Oh, he's on. A, he's a, he's a, he's in the open road. Oh, that's the same man. I give him a lot of credit. That's a tough job. I wouldn't get one of those big bastards. Oh my god! You did it though. You did it's it, man. It's just for seven weekends. Mm. That was it. Mm. But hey, Jesse, hours. hey Jesse, hey Jesse. Uh, we just put up that guitar I was telling you about. Did you see it? Or did you come in late? I could put it back up again. I got the link. Put it back up a second. All right. Yeah, he'll know. Jesse will know about it. Chrome tab. Vintage. 
And that's. So, Jesse, have you ever heard of the Gibson Heritage Series 80 Les Paul? So I don't know if it's a 1980 or what. It just, it you know, like I wouldn't pay that much money. I, I, I They'd have to come down a good bit and I'd have to really like it. But it says Tim Shaw. Well, how's it word the uh, pickups, Mitch? Tim Shaw um, original vintage uh, Harris share uh, series Sandra 80 Les Paul electric gold top with horse shell case. Let me see. Okay. Vintage 81 uh, Gibson Harris series. Da, 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 non original Tim Shaw pickup installed. Right. So does that just mean that they're Tim Shaw pickups, but not Tim Shaw when he was with Gibson pickups? So anyway, and obviously Jesse's guitar is feeling better because last week he was uh, not feeling so great from uh, too many uh, vaccines. All right. But I don't know if that's a 1980 guitar from 1980 or if it's just, you know, a couple years old. Is that a custom yeah. shop? Huh? 81. You think, it, you think it's an 81? Well, it says a vintage 81. It doesn't say a reissue or anything. Oh, okay. Man. So and it's I, I guess I should just go up and expensive. talk to him about it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, I'll chisel him. Well, I got the Jones to do something. Well, go, stupid. At least, go at least play it and see if you like it. See if you let's like just it. put it this. Let's just put it this way. I'm at the. And, then, and then, look, I hope this doesn't come off as braggadocio because I get I get this from my wife all the time. But I just came back from my guy at Ed Jones. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, let me tell you something. It's fun. Yeah, you know, I inherited a lot of money, folks. So. It's amazing how much, and I've got it in, you know, my, my goal when I went to see the guy was, I don't want to, I don't need to get rich. I've got more money than I'll ever spend here. Okay. And it's not, it's not millions or anything like that, folks. it's just a lot of money. Okay. And I don't want to lose money, but I, I'd like to make some money, but I don't want to lose a bunch if everything takes a shit on the stock market or whatever, whatever you know, determines it. It's so coming. Our, well, I, they don't, it's, it, it is, but it's, it's going to be a while. I think that's what, these, everybody seems to think all oh, if you watch the, the 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 business channels on on the cable but our target because i went in and see him today because i was a little confused to where i was with everything and our target was four to six percent return annually okay like got like 12 13 percent return because yeah. because the stock market's so high and yeah well, it'll take a shit it'll all go down there you go there's an answer for you don right there all right. Well, I might go play it, but before I buy it, I got to have somebody like Jesse there with me. Yeah, Gussie they, likes Tim Shaw pickups. Yeah. Well, what it was, it was explained to me that Tim Shaw used to work for Gibson and wind their pickups or make their whatever he does, whatever right. he did for him. So, um, oh, oh, we have a, uh, we're going to change, we're going to change gears here now. Uh, Mitch, this is a, Mitch doesn't even know about this new segment of our show tonight, but okay. Mitch is going <laughs> to give us a review of a movie. That he saw last night. Oh. <laughs> um, I, didn't, I didn't tell Mitch I was going to bring this up. But. I saw the recent, the new James Bond movie, uh, No Time to Die, I think it's called. It was good. That's all I'm saying. I'm kind of. <laughs> I, what it is, I can't, I really can't say, I don't want to say too much because it's, it's, a, it's a lot and very easy to give stuff away. I don't want to. Yeah, Give we don't away. want to do that. But like I asked, he told me this last night. I called Mitch last night and he was telling me about it. I think it's cool because I, the first thing I said, to, was it any good? Because some of these, you know, I don't know. They just seem to, it's, it, it's well, cold I, in my house, but I'm, yeah, I, I'm getting warm from the I'm a uh, James, big James so. Bond fan. I think I saw them all. Pretty sure. So you, had a good bad, you said it had a good bad guy? Yeah, yeah. I but think I that's can, important. I can't I remember the, I think I saw all the Roger Moore ones, but I can't remember. Hey, it's Brian S. Hey, Brian. Brian S. What's happening, Brian? What's going on? Hey, Rick Hefner. So that's kind of how many we got in the how many we got total? 17 right now. Cool, cool. We had, 17. We had We're only 13 minutes in. Well, you know, we 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 changed the subject. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, yeah, try check out the guitar. I mean, uh, Gussie, he gave it a good uh and actually Je uh Jesse said um yeah, I'm ignoring the chat. How do you? Oh, go? added later. Didn't yeah, yeah, I bet say the pickups were added later. Yeah, these were. Yeah, Gussie, these are. These are. What I think Mitch nailed it when he said that it's non-original. Tim Shaw means that they didn't come with the guitar originally. 
Yeah, I don't think it is either, Jesse. But yeah, I want to see how low how low will they go? You know, it'd be like buying a used car. Yeah. So anyway, if I don't do that, I might buy, get get a new used truck. Who knows? I gotta buy. I gotta spend some money from a guitar to a truck. <laughs> In my case, I don't put. Oh my gosh, I hardly put any put any miles. Well, my truck's getting old. It's got one hundred and forty thousand miles on it. Still running good. Though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, it's yeah, running you. like a champ. It just. It. I don't care how it looks. It looks like it's. It's pretty. I call it the the beast because it. The black paint is nineteen eighty two. Not tell me nineteen eighty two thousand and two. Dakota Dodges had a paint that uh kind of like peels off. Me and my wife have had bad luck with paint. So you, you had that, you got that new, didn't you? I sold it to myself, yeah. Because most people hate Dodges, anything Chrysler or Dodge. Hey, I sold Dodge from nineteen from nineteen ninety until about two thousand and I'm going to say two thousand and three. I took about a year off, and then I went and sold used cars the rest of my career at a buy here pay here lot. That was fun. Uh oh, what's wrong with Brian? A wisdom tooth pull. Aren't you a little old for wisdom? It really sucked. They had to cut it up and oh god. Yeah, you probably look like you got you probably got a big swollen jaw, dude. All right, Brian. Hope you feel better, man. Yeah. Oh, Brian, S is a Mopar, dude. Cool. Let me tell you something. I was there selling Dodges when they came out with that badass new truck in 1994. Oh my God. That was holy mo was that that was a lot of fun. You made a lot of money selling those trucks. They took they took the market by storm and they, you know, look they're the caravan. I sold caravans for a lot of years, man. People love. Oh, caravans. very popular. Oh, yeah, they're very really they were, popular. You know, they were always one one step ahead of everybody else. When somebody else would come out, like Toyota came out with the Sienna, that was a nice minivan. But then then caravan dot before you knew it, Dodge came out with the ones where the seats folded down into the floor, the the second row. That was cool. But the only problem is, is the seats were terribly uncomfortable when you had them up in regular position. They mm -hmm. were like sitting on a, it was like sitting on a rock because <laughs> they, you know, what is much padding because you had to, you know, fold it down and then it disappeared into the floor. But that was a very cool feature. I mean, I mean, you took all of a sudden your cargo van without having to take, you know, the old caravans and the, and the early minivans, you could always take the seats out, but it was a pain in the ass. You'd take his big bench out. You know, it was it wasn't easy. You know, I'm sure a lot of people pinched their fingers. Yeah. A lot of the, uh, Oh, you got a Silverado. Okay, cool. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of the old one. I grew up in a Mopar factory. Yeah. At a Coronet Dodge Coronet 440 Magnum. In it. Yeah. Yeah. I had, um, well, my dad, my dad drew a, he used to drive a cab back in the sixties. And so he had, he had some Chrysler's and, um, depending <coughs> on how the weather was, they would start up. But if it was damp, they usually wouldn't start. I remember, I remember he had this one Chrysler he he had, and then he would make him into private cars. But we had we had bought a uh, a nineteen sixty four Dodge uh, or Chrysler Savoy or was it a Dodge Savoy Plymouth Savoy? Sorry, and it was push button automatic. It had the slanted six, which was one of the probably the best motors they you know they think would last forever. Paid a hundred dollars for that car. I had it four years, and I sold it for a hundred dollars. That's a hell of a deal, dude. Hundred dollars yeah. for four. Did you have to put much money in it during that think, four years? Battery I think, or I think that. I think that painted. Uh, I think that had it painted. I believe. Like, remember Earl Tribe? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. One of those cheap jobs, fifty nine hey. ninety five, whatever hey. it was. Probably looked good though, right? Yeah, it was all right. I had trouble with the brakes and motor wise. I mean, it was it was tough, man. Really good in the snow. My dad paid five hundred dollars for this guy at work's uh, Plymouth Duster with three on the tree. Now I learned how to drive on a Toyota, right? A Toyota Corona. Why would you name a car after a <laughs> part of the male yeah, anatomy? Had, but anyway, I had a Chevy three on a column. Yeah, but anyway, he said this has got three on the tree. I said, "What the hell's three on the tree?" <laughs> but it, you know, once you got the hang of it, it wasn't any different, and it was nah. cool because it was a six cylinder. And I'm used to a little Toyota four cylinder that barely got out of its own way. Yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. I had the six cylinder three, and that was cool. I, I liked. It. Most of my cars up until 2000, they were all stick shifts. Hey, uh, did, and then did, ever since did, then, you know, my first three cars, the the toy, the uh, Pinto, 
Well, uh, the first I, I got my dad's Toyota Corona that didn't have air conditioning. The uh, the duster didn't have air conditioning, and the new Pinto, my first new car, the Pinto, yeah. that didn't have air conditioning, and they yeah. were all stick shift. Yeah. So, anyway. Most of my first cars didn't have any air conditioning. I'm trying in to think. The when 70s, I got... you know, you didn't think you were just happy to have something to drive, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And I mean, I, man, when I had a new Pinto, I had a brand new car. I thought I was king shit. Yeah, me too. <laughs> champion. I got a <laughs> champion on Security Boulevard. Oh, boy. If you I remember that. With Bob Davidson Jr. I went to school with Bob Davidson. He sold it. He crushed me. God sold me a 1979 Pinto. The 80s were on the lot. He gave me no discount, and I paid for the stripe. Had a cool stripe on it, uh, dual stripe. I paid for undercoating. I paid for paint sealing. I did, did you I, ha, I, did you have trouble with that con in ignition module always wearing out? No, it was like I'm every never, six months I had to get a new one. Other than putting a battery, and let me tell you something. I had that car seventy nine, eighty. I only had I didn't have that car for a to barely a year. I started oh. selling cars. And I got a brand new car. So most oh. of my friends drove oh. the car more than I did. Yeah, I had it for, well, 83, I guess. You know, their car, you know, they're, like my buddy's brother, his car took a shit. They didn't have a car. I said, here, use mine. I got a dumb, you know, just use it. Don't get in an accident. Don't get me sued. I, I traded that in for like a, six months. For an 83 Toyota Tercel. And then my buddy was at college at Cornell up in Ithaca, New York. And uh, his car took a crap. I said, here, come on down and get the... Uh, Get the um, Pinto. You can have the paint. Drove the Pinto for, I don't know, about four or five months and uh, slid off the road and banged up one of the fenders because they have a lot of snow up there in Ithaca. Had it during the winter months. And uh, I mean, I, th I finally sold it. I only financed it for three years, but I, I think I sold it before it was paid off. And I got, I think I got, I, I only got maybe 500 more than what I owed on it. <laughs> Uh -huh. But I didn't need it. I, at that point, I decided I'm staying in the car business. I get a car, you know, back in the uh, in the 80s, you got a nice car to drive if you knew them, if, you know, depending on what dealership you worked at and how good you were and who, if you knew the manager. And I always, you know, I only worked at places because I had a low tolerance for BS. And uh, some places, the managers were major a-holes. And I bet. Know, I bet. And it was a cool it was a cool it was a cool job to have, because if you didn't like where you were at, you just quit the next day you had a job. I mean, back in the eighties, you, you know, you, but, you, you met so many people, but, but is that a kind of job? Like if you don't sell, you meet a certain quota, they get rid of you anyway. No, I never, the only time I, I got fired twice, I got fired because I, I totaled a demo the, on the way home from dropping a customer off at work. They brought mm. their car in, they were screaming and shouting in the service department. I said, Leave your car. I'll take you to work. They'll get it fixed, blah, blah, blah. And I got lost in the city trying to find the back way to Fox Chevrolet. Mm -hmm. And I was in a Chevy Sprint, which was their uh, little version of like the uh, uh, Penta. Honda Honda Accord, Honda mm -hmm. Honda Civic at the time, like 1980. This is like 1986. Chevy Sprint was, it was a three-cylinder car. Real quick. Oh, got, got like, we have okay. one. Margaret had well, I got lost and, and I pulled out and I forgot, you know, there's a bus block in my view to the right. So I snuck out a little bit. I forgot to look to my left. I pulled out right in. Luckily, it was a uh, like a Chevette that hit me, but it was my fault. The car got totaled. Once they got the letter from the lawyer, they fired me. And the other job I got fired from, I filled out the uh, survey wrong. You're like, you know how you get buy a car, you get a survey on, you know, the buying experience. Well, the sale that the employees get a survey on the dealership. And what's funny, this is real. this is a good story because <laughs> on the survey that the customers get after they buy a car, the whole left side of the, of the thing, the smiley mm -hmm. faces, it's all on the left side, very satisfied. Okay. Well, on the employee thing, it's all on the right side, completely satisfied. Well, I was in a hurry because I was going on a dealer ex exchange with the owner's son. We were going out, you know, up to Delaware. And I just, I, I, they said, you got to do this. So I did it and I went down the left side. Well, that was the completely dissatisfied row. And the service manager went, went and ran the bus over me to the owner and the owner said, fire him. I was one of the best salespeople there. I mean, I mailed out, I mailed out 
each week I mailed out probably a hundred uh, things, you know, prospecting, you know, they, they're fucking nuts. Live, you know, I live like two miles from the dealership. That's all right. I did, the, I did the same thing at my work from the, from the IT department. I had to fill out, you know, I had a problem and after I had a, and I, same but thing. I, I was mistake. in a hurry I made a mistake, and I did yeah. everything wrong. They want to know what was so bad about it. I said, Oh, I went that I just picked, they ain't working a fryer, me. I mean, no. but I said, no, no, I picked the wrong thing. And blah, 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 blah. Well, anyway, so there's there's another boring car story that I told. But anyway, Jay, Jay Leno's show was Sugar Ray the Fighter. When he got his first big check, he bought his siblings Ford Pintos, and they all traded him. <laughs> That's great. I like that, Brian. Cool. I saw Black some... Jack guitar. What's happening, dude? Did you ever see Sugar Ray? Uh, not live, but I, you know, on TV. I saw, I saw him like twice. Security Boulevard, yeah, Security Boulevard uh, Mall before he, right after the Olympics, before he went pro. Oh, really? Yeah, he was right, right there at the Security Mall. Really? And then, um, cool. was he doing a promotion or? He was, no, he, I think he was in a ring boxing with his cousin or something. And, um, oh, was just an sparring, just sparring was with his cousin. Oh, sparring thing. Cool. And, um, the uh, Pikesville Armory, they used to have boxing matches there. And he was there and just oh, watching wow. them. This is after he retired. Cool. And and I'm in the bathroom. He comes in there to take a leak with his entourage behind like three oh, people. Wow. Behind They're like this. You know, while he's taking a leak. That's cool. Brian, I paid for the paint. I was selling vacuum cleaners when I got my Pinto. I wasn't, a, I didn't get this. This is, that was the, this is the job before I got into the car business. So I didn't know anything about aftermarket. I didn't know anything. My dad, when I bought that Pinto, my dad said, here, I'll give you the down payment. You do it all on your own and make sure your payment isn't over this. And I did what he said. <laughs> I didn't I'm give at, a shit. I don't know how many times I thought about selling cars, but I don't like talking to people. Well, you actually, you'd have been a good car sales, but you'd have been, a, but I, I was, a soft yeah, I, I would have been like this. Can I help you? Okay. I was a soft sale. Uh, I, I did, uh, you know, uh, what I did, what I, my specialty was getting the people to want the car, getting the, they liked me, they liked the dealership and all, but they didn't want to pay the money. So I'd get them all buttered up and then the manager would come in and it, it let me tell you something and with some customers, you could have brought the lot man in and said, this is the general manager. He'll make the deal with you. You walk away, and in less than five minutes, the deal's made. Mm. Now, the problem with that sometime was is once you start all the paperwork, they're sitting there. They think all these questions. Sometimes you got to bring the manager back in to reclose them because they get remorse before they've even signed the paperwork. <laughs> oh, yeah, I had him when he tried to <laughs> twist my – you're just going there to look, and they're trying to twist your arm. Oh, yeah. But I, and then I they want to sell you. They want to sell you this and this and this and this and yeah. yeah. They well, want to sell you insurance, but you already have insurance. But they want to sell you more insurance so they can yeah. get a profit. Accident and health insurance and life insurance and and uh, you know, of course, you know if, if if they bought all that shit, you got a portion. But the the percentage the salesman makes on the finance profit is a lot less than what you make on the gross profit of the car. But anyway, we don't need, we don't need to get into all that. Did you all ever right, sell guitars before? Yeah, no, just kidding. <laughs> I tried. I I went up the bills. Oh, that's I, right, you I, did. I, didn't I, you? It, it wouldn't. I did the. You had to do the application online, you know, from their website. And I did. I got. I, man, I I answered all the. You know, it took me fifteen minutes to. You know, do you know about that? What do you know about? And all you got to click this. And no, I don't know anything about that. But, you know, this you, I had started to get into YouTube. So I knew a little bit about some of it. And I wasn't going to lie about it. And when I went to send the it wouldn't send. I couldn't get it to send. So I walk, went up there. I said, look, I can't get this to send. Don't you have an application I can fill out? Or can I just talk to somebody? I said, and I told him, I said, you know, I come in here all the time. Nobody ever tries to sell me anything. You let me get back there. I'll sell your guitar. I'll sell guitars. I'll sell. I'll sell everything, because I'll ask people to buy it. <laughs> you guys never ask it. You guys, well, you got a point there, but now you got to do it online. I said, all right. I guess you don't want me because I was trying to get out of the car business, and I thought, you know, Christ, I got walk to work. You know, get exercise. I'd be around guitars and amps. That would be cool, right? Read, read that, Don. That's how my my wife, wife can wear a car salesman down to a nub by the end, and they do whatever she wants just to get rid of her. Well, that's, you know, that's, you know, you can only do so much, you know. 
but today today it's nothing like when i sold cars there was a lot of money to play with there was more markup in the cars especially the trucks oh truck when i sold let me tell you something in, in the in the mid 80s trucks didn't have window stickers in maryland so you can make up a price oh How really is this truck i mean they had window stickers but the window stickers didn't have prices so you'd have to go and look it up and you could lie you could say if it was if the truck was eight thousand dollars say it's like ten five but i can probably get it to you for eight so if you sell it for eight you're selling it full list you got 13 14 percent markup in the thing you know you made a big commission but and some people were stupid other guys you know they shop around they said that isn't a ten thousand dollar truck it's eight thousand Oh, I made a mistake. Let me go check again. Oh, you're right. It's eight thousand. All right, you can buy it for uh, sixty five hundred. <laughs> and it's so much good, inf good like. information now. If you you know, uh, yeah, when you're buying a car, I read an article. It was kind of interesting. Um, because of the pandemic, a lot of the big, uh, the big, big, you know, chain car sale. You know, where you know some people they they sell. They have ten different dealerships, ten different kinds of cars, mm -hmm. and all. Uh, during the pandemic, they they downsized their workforce all the way around, except for like yeah. service. OK, and what they're finding is now that things are opening up. They're not hiring people. Their salesmen are selling twice as many cars. They just kept the best salespeople. Mm -hmm. They're making what did Brian say there? We bought a jet ski. She had the poor sales guy go back and forth. There you go. Well, you know, that's that's. I feel sorry for the salesman because at that point, the manager should just come out and dealt with the manager. And, you know, 40 minutes could have been 15 minutes. Real easy, real easy, because the manager is going to make the decision. But, you know, the manager's job, let me tell you something. The sales manager's job is the easiest job in the dealership. Honestly, other than the pressure you get, it's, well, I shouldn't say that because you get pressure from the owner. But, you know, it's, it's real easy to tell somebody what to go say to somebody it's a whole different ball game when you're out there and you're actually, you know, the people have a objection, you know, you can tell them what the sales manager says, but then they have an objection and you're telling them words that aren't your words. It's hard to, it's hard to, you know, cause a lot of times you don't really like what the manager tells you to go out and tell the people. <laughs> yeah. At this but, rate, I'll probably never get a new car. Uh, Cause I probably put like 1200 miles. Cars are 30, 40, $50,000. I wouldn't buy a new car. <laughs> Not a shot in the world. Well, you know, used. I think it's, my mine was only 24 or something like that. 2013 CRV. Like if I, I, if I was a young person or, you know, still working, you know, full time and I needed a new vehicle, I'm buying a used car. I'll tell you what, I, I would probably lean to buying like a, uh, a used rental car and people say, Oh, I don't want a rental car. Well, think about it. Now they're maintained very well. <laughs> they're very well maintained. They're not going to be the rental car companies. If they have a car that gets in an accident, it gets in a bad accident. They're probably not putting it back out on the road. Right. Okay. So, you know, you get the car facts. It says it was, in, you know, an accident gets reported if somebody just brushes, you know, bumps into your car in the parking lot or scrapes your door, you know, uh, something that's superficial, but it's not structurally damaging the car real bad just because the car fact says it's been in an accident. Now, you know, it. I think I, I forget how the car facts works. If it tells you how bad there might be different um, varying degrees of what else, but. But that's because those cars are maintained. They want those car rent. They, they don't want people renting cars and then breaking down between Atlanta and Sarasota, Florida. You know, somebody, yeah. plot, you know, or you know, pick, pick, you know, from New Jersey to Maine. You know, they don't want to break it down. So they maintain those cars. They have their own, you know, mechanics usually, you know. And so anyway, that's what I do. And they're cheap. Now, if you want to get something real fancy and pretty and, you know, uh, the problem with most people buying a car, it's a very emotional experience. You know, you get all psyched up. You really want it bad. And, you, you know, instead of getting the payment that you want, you finance for another 12 months. You finance for six or seven years instead of five years and or four years. And you'll never own the thing. All right. What else we got going on here? Anybody buying new gear? Mitch, could you sleep in that chair? For a couple minutes. 
So I got my feet propped up on the uh, the end of the desk and or well, part of my leg. So Rick Hefner, did you buy two Vegas or did one one to get totaled? And you bought another one. Why'd you buy two, or did you just buy one for you and one for your wife, or did you just want two cars? My cousin did that. He bought two, graduated from high school, and he bought a, a Buick Skyhawk and a Buick Regal. Both of them were special editions. That's what got me selling cars. He told me how much the salesman made on the two cars that he sold, that he bought. It's like, oh, I got to do that. I looked in the paper. We're down at the beach. Looked in the paper. There's a dealership hiring right up the street from me. I went up there and got that job. <laughs> All right. So I have a little hack here. We're, me and Mitch were talking about this. I was uh, up here playing my guitar today. And uh, re redoing uh, redoing the wires, and you know you got these adapters. Like this is the adapter to my uh, Electro Harmonics C9 pedal, which you know you play the guitar. It sounds like an organ if you you know different organ things, which I don't use very much, but it's very cool. You got to really know the uh, triads of chords, which I don't know. I don't you know. But I, I use it something. But anyway, you get these wires all over. It. It's, it's a pain in the ass. So what you do is you wind it up in a little, you know, little things like this. Boom, boom, you know, keep doing it. This is taking too long. But anyway, so you get it like this. And let's say you really only need this much, not all that. And then you take, of course, now I can't find it. Find a goddamn thing. Uh, you take a bread tie, you know, a little... You know, the thing that your your bread's wrapped up, which I've lost now. Mitch, where'd I, what'd I do with it? Well, let me find another one. But anyway, well, I can't find one. I'm not going to do it. But anyway, so now you have just this much. And you can also do that with your guitar chords. Like sometimes you need, like, uh, you don't have the little, you don't have these little short chords. If you don't have these little short things, you can do the same thing with a guitar chord, but you might need to use something, you know, but actually if you do two, so you put one, one bread tie, there's, you know, there's a little, uh, what do you, plastic yeah. with the metal in it mm -hmm. on either side. And it takes, it's, it's, it saves a lot of space and a lot of clutter. So I bought those Velcro wraparound things. Yeah. That, okay. Because I can't, I couldn't oh, I stand it. I, so I would do stuff even underneath the desk and everything. Yeah. But well, I, I I found myself. Yeah, mean, these are these are better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, this. Yeah. yeah, these are better for especially for guitar chords. The, the thick. I was always chords. changing things around, and I wound up. It was. It cost me more work undoing it than. I don't know where you buy these things. I change things so much. Oh, came, staples, staples. Staples. I, I got. These? Yeah, oh, cool. and probably oh, um, Walmart. They'll have it. Walmart. Yeah, yeah Walmart has you know, like the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like this guitar chord has that. This guitar, this is a uh, pig. No, this is a. What brand? Hey, is Hetriani. This? Oh, this is a ball. This is an expensive cable, boss cable. But it has oh. the thing. It's already attached yeah, to it. Yeah, some of them have me. Yeah. And and that that does help it. So you wrap it up and see, so like, look, you get all this. It's it's a mess. Yeah, cable skin on my nerves. I've got cables every now. I've got my headphone cable mixed up with this. I don't even know how I did that. So this is good. This is uh, this is a hack. A cable and wire hack. Aren't you glad you tuned in <laughs> tonight to get that? And uh, for you latecomers, this show is brought to you by Jameson tonight. The monkey shoulder uh, tends to hit me a little bit harder than the James. Jameson's smoother, and uh, I don't think it. I, I don't get as buzzed from Jameson as I do from uh, Monkey Shoulder. Oh, uh, who else joined us? Hey. Axis two oh eight four. There we go. Doing? What's happening? It's Hetriani. Hetriani. He just did. That was awesome. Uh, he just did a, a premiere the other night. I watched. I, I didn't see it live, but I, I watched the after the Very groovy. And um, oh, I was gonna. Who else? Oh, Hugh. Uh, Hugh Caldwell just did a really cool. Yeah, he thing did today. one too. Yeah. He did one today, which which is very cool. Everybody should watch this. I'm not gonna highlight it. Oh, shit. What was it? It was happy something. Cheer. No, that's. 
that's his reply. Where the hell did it go? Oh, yeah, be happy. Hugh Caldwell. Here, I'll, I'll put up the link. Very, very, very cool. Very nice. And uh, I, I listened to that with my coffee this morning, and it, and it, it was very, uh, it made me happy. It was good, good. Uh, here, I'll put the uh, link. Hugh's not with us tonight yet, or, I mean, it's late over there. He's probably in bed. But uh, check out that video, folks. That's good. Hugh Caldwell has good stuff. Everybody oh, has good stuff. He came in, he came in disc, Discord over the weekend, I believe. He oh, did, did he? Cool. Cool. Yeah. cool. One time. Cool. And, uh, I mean, every, there's a lot of good. I'm still catching up on videos. Yeah, I got to be honest. I don't. I have all my everything turned off, so I just got to hunt for stuff if I'm going to watch stuff. Because I would constantly get bar bombarded and so uh, I'll ask and and I I put audio as their plugins would say I pick all right I don't know what they're talking about I, I've been ignoring the chat guys I, I I tell you Mitch has been doing a good job I think the last two weeks of monitoring the chat oh he's talking about amp sims oh uh, amp yeah. simula okay yeah yeah. yeah. You got to pay fifteen dollars for that. You can't do it yourself. No amp sims. You use in like your doll stuff. Oh, 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 yeah, oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, that's that's out of my line of expert on expertise. I have no expertise in anything, folks. <laughs> when it comes to dolls, yeah. I have. I, I I don't. I can barely. I, I, I still almost, always go back to the helix. I always I go came back. This to the close helix. today to opening up Reaper and trying, but. I I I uh I got my trio plus out and I've got a new two chord progression. I'm getting ready to do a, a video a, a jam one. It's very very cool chords I think. And um, so uh, any of you guys out there that are Helix people, I, I I discovered something very cool. I was telling Mitch about this. Of course, he already knew about it. But if you if you hook your Helix device into your computer and bring up the HX Edit, okay. And then you now you Apple guys, I can't I, I don't know if this applies because I know nothing about Apple computers. But if you have a uh, Windows like I have um, and you open up another window, bring up YouTube and get a, a backing track and play the backing track. It comes through the Helix. So if like I have my Helix hooked up into a uh, yeah, PA it, system. It's using your it's it's it's, it's a audio interface interface that's, yeah I, that's what it does so that is really cool and what i do like what i was doing was like this guy jonathan cordy is very i think he's like one of the best guys of explaining how to he's a little he goes a little too fast scrolling through the uh each effect that he puts on the he helix okay but he shows you how to do, set up a preset. So he had this thing for the uh, for a clean patch with a Fender amp, and it was really cool because it was just an amp, a cab, uh, an EQ, and a reverb, just four things, and it was a really nice, clean sound. And and I, I so I had one window open with that. So I'm listening to him through my PA system while I'm tweaking my Helix Edit to set up a new patch. So it was really cool, very cool. Yeah, I was listening to that. Uh, yeah, I was telling you, I was listening to it. But I still feel like that one I was just telling you about, the built-in one sound better than, than that. Yeah. If, yeah, one of the best amps in Helix. Yeah, it's, it's a great... I, I just... It, it, and it was, it was one of the few where, like, you don't have, like... <sighs> it does have a second path, but it's just for the reverb. It's very, you know, for you Helix guys out there. But it could be a bad patch. It would still sound good when Jonathan plays. <laughs> it don't matter. He just, but I liked it so much. Of a player, I, I bought him, I bought him five cups of coffee and hmm. uh, I teased him <laughs> in the message on the, uh, you know, the tip jar he has or whatever, buy him a cup of coffee through PayPal the message I put on there because he's let his beard grow out. <laughs> I said, I said, you might want to uh, use this. It was only $25. I said, you might want to use this for some razors when you decide to shave off the, the beard you're growing in. But the beard, I said, it looks cool. Would, you know, stay with it if you like it, you know, but knowing him, he probably is going to shave it off before mm -hmm. long. So uh, yeah, I was just teasing him. But I, if, if you're a Helix user, the Helix Stomp or the Helix Floor or whatever, 
Jonathan Cordy's the way to go. He doesn't, you know, if you want to buy stuff, you can buy stuff from him. But he shows you enough. Uh, now, Guitar Hack, I'm drinking. Where you been? I've been drinking Jameson. I told you the monkey is too strong, dude. I mean, I, I, I can drink iced tea and I can chatter just as much. Just pick some paints. Hey, Dave, what's happening? Painting up a storm, I imagine. Hey, Dave. <laughs> monkey monkey shoulder that's good stuff hack i you know but hey hack every time i go out i ask you i say you got monkey shoulder scotch none of the bars have it what else is going on mitch you look like you're ready to fall asleep down there well i had a hey, funny i had a doctor's appointment with a sleep doctor today oh yeah and, how'd that go and uh because I haven't seen the doctor in like four years. So uh, I I didn't like the guy I was seeing. So, um, but it's my stuff is so old. I, the, everything's wearing out. So I was referred to this person. Oh, your CPAC, your pack, CPAC? Yeah, whatever. yeah. So I was referred to this uh, this lady doctor in um, Gettysburg. But we had a Zoom meeting, right? So I'm all set up, had everything ahead of time and everything filled out. And I plug in, I plug in what I have in one nail. And I and it's working. All of a sudden, my audio stopped. So I had to unplug it and plug it back in, like I do every now and then. And she's not hearing me. I had to go back out of the call and oh, back geez. into it. You know. But it worked out fine. It worked out fine. That's cool. But uh, yeah. So um, she so she ordered me. Um, I get I can get it. See, I can't. You can't just get like a, you know, your 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 straps or whatever. You have to have a um, you know, for CPAP. You have to have a prescription. So really? She called, yeah, she called me all this stuff Kidding in. Kidding me? And, yeah, so she called this stuff in, and um, so I'll pick it up. And actually, my machine, she said, it was on a recall, and they're giving people new, giving people new machines. So I got a, uh, I got a call. It's a Phillips. So because I'm afraid, I mean, people die in their sleep. I'm afraid not to use it. You know what I mean? I wish my wife would. Uh... Would, would go see something about that because she had just had a uh, she was getting um, you know tightness in her chest so they did the thing where they go on through the wrist they knock her out mm -hmm. and angioplasty is that mm -hmm. what it is and I they think. a little slit in the wrist and you know they go it through whatever and in recovery <laughs> it took her a while to wake up from the anesthesia oh my and and her heart stops you know it, it that's part of that or and she needs to go. She won't do it though, because that is I'm I'm scared to death. You know, something's gonna happen to her. Hey, the doc's in the house. Dog paw. Everybody the dog paw. Wolf. wolf. Man. Um, speed for hire. I don't think anybody. Mitch hasn't got any new gear. I'm jonesing for something, but I probably won't. I just I, I'm I'm full. You know, I'm just a lot of talk. But I might go play that uh that last ball. I think about stuff. I've been, I, 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 to be honest with you, I've been looking, I can't use any amps in here, but I've been looking at those Fender, like Twin River, all these Fender tube amps lately. But, dude, it, don't, be, you know, you can't play it. You know, I you can't, can't play it here. I mean, like, unless my wife's out, it up. Of, unless she's out of the house or something. Right. But, uh, it'd be st stupid. But I was looking, I think, who was that? Who was the guy's? You you mentioned that tone, the Fender tone, whatever. It's like a South State amp, but it's close to a tube amp. And of course, some of you, some of the guys, they'll say, "Oh, you know, and it's garbage." But I was reading a bunch of reviews. It's called a Fender tone something. I forgot what it's called. Well, it doesn't have a lot of built-in effects, right? Well, it might have some effects in it, but dude, you got a katana. But it's I can't not see as, it. It's like a tenth of the weight of a tube amp, right? And so I was reading your tone master. So I was reading reviews on there. Like ninety percent of them were like po very positive. I mean, they gig with it and everything. Wow. Not all, not everybody liked it, but some of them really did like it. Uh, I'll be upset if you get something like that, dude, because you got the katana. I'm telling you, if you tweak it to katana, you can get that katana to sound just like a Fender Twin. I promise you. Yeah, I'm not getting any. I'm just talking. I'm just all talking. right. That's cool. All right, we all, we all do that, don't we? Don't we all do that? I have to put, like I said, I've been using. I have all my amps out now, so I got the TI Church NX. I've been using that lately, right? It's right here on the desk. And I've been, and, um, and I got the Black Star ID core underneath. So I could use that. But when I would use that with the uh, audio interface, I mean, you know, with USB, it's like it killed everything else that work right with it. I mean, 
like say if I want to do something on YouTube or I was having some other issues, but not but but it actually worked right, you know, with the software and everything. But I don't like the way it reacts when I use it as a the audio interface in that. So and and the katana, I need it, I need to pull that out and do something with that. Hey Mitch, why don't you see if unless this is a lot of trouble. Speed for Hire says Gibson oh. has a cheap SG I want Raven edition. Can you can you search that? And pull uh, that SG up? Raven. Yeah. yeah. One of these days I'm going to learn how to do that and share, but that's going to be a a, a lesson. Me and me, and, we're going to have to do one in a one a spur of the moment weekend, late weekend jam where Mitch can yell at me. <laughs> For not listening to Who, me, <laughs> I. Uh... It is funny. We really should film a tutorial. It's a tribute, Mitch. It's a tribute. Yeah, it's a tribute. Raven limited edition. Uh, I don't have no price there. Tribute to who? Huh? No, it's a tribute. It's an SG tribute. Oh, Raven limited that? edition. Yeah. We'll bring up know. a picture of it. We don't even know how much it cost. <laughs> It doesn't have, so I don't. It might be something that's not new. Is it something uh, you got to a hey, speed? Is that something you have to uh, pre-order? Oh, cool. What's the uh, what's the uh, oh? There's a price. It's a th there, there it is. Thousand, little over a thousand. Oh, that's a nice guitar. Then bring, go down. Does it give you the uh, specs like uh, neck and you know what kind of? Yeah, there, yeah, we, go. Yeah, there yeah. we go. That's what I want to see. All right, stop right there. Uh, I don't care what's made of. Rich light fingerboard is that what? No, rich light is what? What do we have? What's our fingerboards? It's rosewood. Isn't that amazing? That that's when they stopped. Gibson? They were, they were, you know, they're. I guess they had the band. How come they say fingerboard while? instead of fretboard? Have they been watching Scott Grove videos? <laughs> oh, I would love to meet Scott Grove one day because I would, I would argue with him a little bit about that because it's a board. It has frets on it. It's a fretboard, but it can be a fingerboard too because your fingers are on it. So it, it's either or. You know, who gives a shit? But that's a uh, uh, that's a real uh, proprietary. And what does that mean, proprietary? It's their design. <laughs> well, why do they have to say that? Why can't they just say Gibson Gibson Humbucker? Oh, it's a proprietary Humbucker. It's is it, this is a Gibson now, not an Epiphone, yeah. right? Right. It is Gibson, but they're the, they're the lower end SGs. You know, yeah, for a thousand dollars. Yeah, 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 most of them are around two grand, but. Man, they put, I played some of them. I almost bought some of those. One of those before. Made in the United States. Right. Gig bag. Well, that's why it's only $1,000 because you only get the gig bag. So well, with a case, um, with a hard shell case, uh, I guess it's about. Uh, oh, the regular SG standard only comes with a gig bag. Really? Yeah. I got the next one up. Mine came with a hard shell. But yeah, the. Uh... Okay. It's a. Oh, Guitar Center exclusive. Well, that's cool. Oh, okay. Hey, speed for hire. If you like it, it don't matter what it is. Yeah, it don't matter. They're good. Like, you get it, you know, for that much money in it. And with with way guitar centers, if you don't like it, I think you can just send it back, right? Get something else. Yeah, I think you got 45 days. You at least you did. Um there's six string Brian. Hey, sorry, Mitch, to interrupt you. I, I I think I've been pretty good about not interrupting you, but I have to interrupt you real <laughs> quick because because Brian's here. Brian, I think I asked last week and I never never went back and looked and didn't pay attention. Are you going to start doing your show again? Six Dream, Brian? We need an answer. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, it should be getting nice and cold up there. <laughs> it's cold around here, man. But he's got those snowmobiles, too. He can play with those. Anyway, everybody get ready, because I think I'm gonna, my next jam, which, well, I always say I'm going to do it after the show, and I never do, but my next jam is going to be on my... Uh, Refaced Stratocaster. I got I've got something and some presets that sound I think sound good and it, I was I was feeling it earlier. So maybe with some uh, Jameis in me, I'll be feeling it even more. But isn't that I just think that black pickguard looks so much better than whatever the whole pickguard. Oh, it's over there. But uh, so anyway, and Brian, no, I haven't bought an SG. 
<laughs> oh, he'll he'll start streaming in a few weeks. Good, good. Very good. Just your shows, Brian. You you know you always start off with a cool jam, and you know. Because because we need to we need a show that's so, it's about something. Yeah, and I need to, I need uh, I need to see the uh, the um what do you call it where they where they bring the planes in. He's got like the NASA thing, you know, <laughs> his space station setup that he has. Brian, I think Six String Brian has about the coolest uh, guitar uh, computer setup and all of everybody. That is a uh, pr- very, very impressive because he's got cameras. He's got more cameras than you got, Mitch, right? He's got good cameras. Yeah, he's got several. He's got good cameras. Yeah, but he's got really high end cameras. Brian's got. Yeah, Mine's Brian's, like. Brian's, Brian I have a Sony. Uh, I have a Sony digital camera, but it's like. The bottom of the barrel. What are you using but tonight? It, the C9? Who well, yes. yes. C920? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it, I can get it almost looking almost as good as the Sony a lot of times. As long as I have the lights on and exposure shut down, you know, really set low. See if I, I am a, being original. Uh, Dave, I am being original because it can't almost all of these, all, what, what, what Sunburst. All the sunburst strats come with white. Um, white. Although somebody just did. It. This is there, there's a guy that um, plays a lot of strats. Uh, let me let me see. Let me go to. Uh, I think it's this guy here, John, Johan, Johan Joslar, Johan here. This guy's groovy. I'll put up the link to his, his latest video. Elevated Jam Tracks. I hope he bought it. Okay. Stop that. StreamYard, pop-up chat. I think this guy has a uh, Strat with a black uh, pick guard. This guy's really groovy. He's a really good guitar player. Johan Juice some, uh, Lauer. L-A-U-R. He is from... France, French guy, really good guitar player. A lot of good videos. <coughs> but uh, so, Dave, I wasn't copying you, dude. I didn't even know you. Had, you don't play a Strat much, dude. Do you? I I did take a picture of um when I went to the movie yesterday. I took a picture of the new James Bond. Oh, cool! Let's see it. <laughs> hey pretty cool guy he looks i he looks he really looks familiar i just can't i can't picture it but that's the new james bond that's um what's his what's his alias quentin james yeah what's the other one he's somebody else too oh yours yours <laughs> hey you there's you caldwell <laughs> hey you i just uh i was telling everybody to watch your happy uh be happy or whatever the hell the name of that last video you just did. I, I watched that this morning with my, I think it was this morning or was it yesterday morning? Whatever it was. I watched it with my coffee. You know, the, I think it was this morning. It might have been yesterday morning. Uh, you, you know, it's, uh, it's hell getting old, folks. You know, you sit around, it, you're, you're retired, and you forget one day to the next. Don, Today's Wednesday. What? Do you remember a show called The Mod Squad? You remember that? Oh, yeah. Link. Link yeah, was the well, coolest dude. And what was the girl's name? She was um, Peggy. No, Peggy, Peggy Lipton. Lipton was her real name. That was her real name. But they're going to bring that back. And guess what? Guess who they asked to play uh, Lincoln Hayes in the new uh... Quentin? Let me see the picture. Show the picture. Um, oh, window. Yeah, Quentin's going to play Lincoln <laughs> Hayes. He's going to play Lincoln Hayes. Uh huh. Yeah. He's, he's, I mean, it's just. It just Knocking his door down, they want him to do do so much stuff. Hack, he played your strat near. I, I missed your live stream, Hack, but I watched. I wa- I was watching college football that night. I, it's like, ah, oh, shit, I forgot Hack was going. I had seen. Uh, uh, I knew that you were doing a special show, but anyway, you didn't put a. Uh, you didn't put out a uh, hujama bop or a uh, a reminder or whatever. Uh, so anyway, but I caught, I, I watched the show right after it went off and, uh, you played your strat, I think during the live stream, didn't he? Didn't he jam on that for a little bit? 
Um, I think he did at the end. Did he play East Rock? I think I can't he remember. Did. Yeah, he was playing everything. But anyway, go check out uh, Hack's last uh, uh, impromptu Saturday night live stream. He's got a new new Les Paul, which is Christ. I forgot the name already. Not you know what? Here. They're what bringing back is it? cigarette commercials again. Did you hear about that? Oh, cool, cool. Winston yeah. tastes good, like a. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! And Quentin's not even watching the show tonight. Where are you at, Quentin? And who's that other guy? What's the name? <laughs> What's his alias that he does? Yaris. Yars. Yark. Yaris. Yark. 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 That's Yark. It. Yark. 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 Yeah. That's all right. Quentin usually is in there, but he, how many we got watching now? 21. And we're like, oh, <laughs> so we yeah, always 20. get more at the end. Yeah. Um, of course, Quentin's going to be, oh, I don't have that on here. Never mind. I thought I had, uh, uh, where is that one? Matt, don't have that on here. We could well, so we got twenty one in the chat. We could we could trim it down to about ten real quick. We start talking politics. <laughs> we it's not. We will not. We will not. So has anybody yeah. bought anything? So, somebody's got to have a new guitar out there. How about Paul Wu? Paul, you're always finding it. Didn't Paul say he had a new guitar coming? Paul, he, are you still he in bought house? a new wireless guitar system. I know that a real high end one. You know, I'm glad you brought that up because I'm telling you, I'm going to do a little commercial. It, it it's not cheap. But I, I'm like using these again. These are great. And for the little that I play, I hardly ever have to charge them. It's the boss. What the hell's the number, uh, Mitch? I don't know. Anyway, don't... the boss wireless thing, this is good stuff, man. It really saves a lot of clutter. Uh, I've been using the shit out of it lately. I, I, you know, I had to charge. I hadn't used them for like a couple of months. So I had to charge them up. But once I charged them up, they stay charged forever. Yeah, I haven't used I, mine. If you're out, if you're out, if you're out uh, oh, yeah, Hugh, we could talk golf. <laughs> golf game sucks. Are you, are you being, have you been golfing with the colder weather? Or? Oh, yeah. I, this is great. There's hardly anybody out there now. Right. Oh, yeah. I, I don't care. I played, uh, what's today? Wednesday, I played, uh, Monday. Yeah, I played Monday. Walked 18. I offered to send Q all star treks on hard drive. I don't think he could figure out how. Um, I think I think Quentin will surprise you as to what he can do and what he can't do on computers. I it's probably it's it's probably less what he knows how what he can do or figure out how to do and more he just doesn't he, he doesn't effing feel like it. <laughs> he's like me. You know, I don't feel like doing all that shit. But uh, it's a shame. I, I would, you know, Q's really, I mean, he's a really good player. You know, I wish he'd do more. I wish, he, I wish he'd jam to the backing tracks when we do. Hack, we got to do a uh, backing track. I think I'm going to, Hack, go to a YT jam tracks. And he put one out today and it's got three parts, but it's basically the same chords but he just does them differently. It's kind of cool. It's just D minor C and D, but he does it different. It's kind of cool. He's got it. He's got a, see you Dave. You know, the main part. See you Dave. Go paint a picture for us, buddy. And oh, do a man. Live stream. Has he been doing any live streams? Have I missed any? He hadn't been live. Well, he'll, he's got a busy life, man. He'll he's do stuff a, on discord and he'll, he'll discord. paint while he's in there. Start one from scratch and finish it like an hour to. Yeah. I'm not doing it. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I just, I refuse. I'll probably give in one day, but uh Oh, you don't have to do that. He's talented. I, I tell you what, that makes me ill that anybody can be that can play guitar and uh and paint. Plus he's a computer IT genius, you know. I mean, Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. What can't the guy do? Dave's a good guy. Pick some paints. Nothing new for Paul. I thought you were getting a new guitar. I don't know. I got you mixed up with somebody else, I guess. Hack, yeah, I'll, I'll send you the link. But uh, I don't know. If you, I don't even know if you feel like doing another one. You know, you're busy, man. You're playing gig. Uh, Hack's been, band's been out playing, man. That's good. I'm so happy to hear that. 
Now, I don't know that I'd recommend this boss thing if, if I was out playing in a band, which I would never will do. But uh, for, in you know, bedroom jammers like myself or, you know, music room jammers, whatever. That, that's a great, a very reliable, uh, easy to use system. I tried to tell him I'm too broke to troll in person. There you go. <laughs> Dogbot, check the channel. I'm looking for some new content, dude. Come on, let's get with it. Put some cotton in your ears. Put your headphones on and jam out. Another good player. Very, very, uh, doesn't appreciate his talent. A lot of these guys, that kill me. It's like, uh, they don't realize how good they are. Is the Tony Stark of our chat. Oh, cool. <laughs> Who's Tony Stark, Don? <laughs> Iron Man, man. Huh? Stark. Iron yeah, Man. he is. Yep. You know, it's funny that you brought up Tony Stark. Some poor little bastard, this little kid. I, I say bastard as an endearing, fearing term. Okay. So this kid, it's Halloween, and this kid dresses up like Tony Stark as opposed to Iron Man. Not the mm -hmm. Iron Man suit, the Tony Stark. He's got the hat, the tie, and all that. And you know how kids are, you know, on the bus. Everybody made fun of him. And he got all upset. He got, I guess he got to school. He called mom and come get me. He was all upset. He got to it. His mom had a talk with him. And the, the kid is together. He got it together and said, the hell with it. I'm not going to let him bully me. I think he got back into his costume and went back to school and said, and, and so good for that. So anyway, that's my Tony Stark story. <laughs> do, you, do you get a lot of trick-or-treaters out your way? Not a one. Yeah, we don't get any. Uh, However, uh, I forgot to leave the porch light on, and I do have we do have a uh, a scary mask with a wig and one of my old flannel shirts that Janet made years ago that I, I meant to put out because two doors down they've got like five kids, three of them are triplets. Oh, they're the cutest mm. thing. You hear them screaming, running around. You know, I guess they're in like they're probably in like first grade this year. I think this is their first because I see mom. They they can walk to school, and I see mom walking them back from school some days. But uh, I, I probably could have got some trick-or-treaters. See, year, my, uh, uh, my daughter got married, and it was a Halloween theme. It was outside. They had oh, really? You didn't, this oh, huge cool. tent. And, uh, yeah, it turned out well. I mean, people you, were – some people up? were in costume. No, we, I, no, we I had to, to oh, dress in – I wasn't in a suit, but I was in nice clothes. But some people did dress up, you know. You didn't wear a suit? Let's see for weddings. I like did I, you dance? Did you get out in boogie? Did you and Margaret get out in boogie? Margaret, she can't. She can't dance. Oh, uh, because of her knees. Her knees. Uh, and um so did you yeah, get out I, in I wore what I I wore what I I didn't wear a jacket, I wore a day supply. Uh, I had a purple shirt and black pants. Cool. Cool. I got actually I got some looking dapper. You got a picture? Let's see a picture of Dapper yeah, Dan. Yeah, I did I, I did a real nice his name is Dapper Dan. I Let's did a real nice dapper video, Dan. right? I got right. video and pictures. I got mm -hmm. the whole the whole ceremony, the wedding ceremony, but I put up, uh, I put up a couple songs, and they they have copy copyright claims on them. What? Um, it don't matter. I mean, I just just claims. But I mean, uh, what on Facebook? Um, no, here on YouTube. But on I'm not. YouTube? Yeah, I'm not going to play it on here. But I can show you some of the pictures. Okay. Um, cool. Just, I love weddings, man. I haven't been to wedding for years. That's one time when I'll make sure that you know we're staying right there where the wedding is and mm -hmm. and i will get toasted and me and my wife will get out there and boogie boogie yeah she couldn't mark can't couldn't dance i would i could have danced even though i'm not that great health but i, I have no business dancing on the dance floor but i'll do it i don't give a shit here's uh here you go i'll just so that that's the big tent that rent they rented it was in uh her husband's backyard they had it Oh, okay. See, see, it says Hall happy, uh, Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yeah. yeah, very cool. And that's the inside. Wow. That's my lovely wife, Margaret. It's Margaret. And they had food. Um, for this was the rehearsal. So they had a pr pretty good spread. Actually, we uh, actually it was from it was supplied by Giant. And us, cool. and that's the new baby. baby the uh, the, the baby. Great, uh, that's Delaney, the great granddaughter. Cute. My nephew just had a son. And they had oh, they had they were they had two outhouses. 
Nice. That's nice. from the inside, by the way. Cool. I'm not telling you where I was when I took it though. <laughs> and no one told no one told me that was I thought you washed your hands in there, but you don't. <laughs> and on the way home, I mean Jay had their own turkeys and chickens, but their neighbor across the street, you know, they run wild. I actually exactly. had to stop. Oh, so I see him in the street. Yeah. I actually had to stop so they uh no roadkill. Right. I actually had to stop. So, uh, well, where's yeah, the picture wouldn't. of you and your and your dapper? Let's see, Dapper Dan. Oh, there there he is, Dapper Dan. Yep. That's what Looking I. That's good, what dude. I wore. All right, cool. I mean, they nice. supplied the tie and the uh, shirt. Looking good, dude. That's that's the bride, Melissa, Darling my wife. Bride. Very nice. She looks pretty. But fat me. I didn't realize you were that much taller than Margaret. It didn't. I didn't notice that. I am five. What am I? Five ten. She's whatever. Five I didn't two. Realize five, one. Margaret was that short. Say they had the cake. You know, cake yeah. made up like you know. Right. Scary cool. stuff. Very cool. Married on Halloween. Very cool. Do not touch. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, uh, there's another picture of me. There, I don't look fat. Looking sharp, dude. Yeah. Looking sharp. Dapper Dan. I don't know who took those pictures. So that's on the, the cover that's, of Rolling Stone. There you go. That's You're the groom the there. I'd buy a used car from him. Look, they just had the house fixed up. Look how good it looks. Now nah, that's a shit. That's a that's a garage. There, it's just they. He bought the house from his. I'm mean, his grandfather used to own it. So that's how it's been in the family that long. Who's your buddy? Oh man. How about that, very cool. And that's the uh, that's the best man's daughter, the tall one, and that's uh, Tegan, the the uh, great granddaughter. We babysit all the time. Oh, okay. Quite often on all the right. left. It was nice. Very it was cool. just very, very good. Cool. And there's the uh, ex. The on the right, it's the what my wife's ex, the father of Melissa. The real. Oh, okay. I'm her okay. stepdad. Right. Right. Anyway, that's about it. I know I had a good time. It was fun. Is that awkward being around him? Oh no, he, we get along. We uh, oh, that's good. Yeah, he he just he's fine. He's a nice guy. Oh, okay. Just, excuse me, just a second. I'm, I hate to. I'm going back in the chat and oh, so Paul got the tack of money. Paul, you haven't done a uh, video with that twelve string yet, have you? Now, Hack, we're not forming a band because Mitch won't play in my garage. Me and Jesse are forming. Well, maybe a band. next some, maybe next spring, Nick, you can try to pull my arm again. When he, All right, well, we, we, me and me and Jesse might do a practice run here this fall before it gets too cold, but probably not. It's cold. It's too cold now. I know. I know. You start okay. playing a good thing. Get get electrocuted. Do you don't. Do you have heat in that garage? Oh, there's BB made. No, no, don't no heat in the garage. Absolutely, Larry. He's the sharp dressed man. They wrote a song about you, Mitch. How many what? how many people know who Mike Huckabee is? I know who he is. I'm not he a ran from did he, he, I think I think he's I like a, him actually. I do too, but I think he's hypocritical. He's a very I uh, think he's I think he's a uh, part of the uh establishment that's my opinion but we're not going to get into politics <laughs> he's very conservative right and yes doc i would buy a car from mitch yeah okay paul i didn't th i didn't think there were any uh bids that want to get oh, i couldn't sell I'm not, i mean my wife says i mumble anyway. there's no way i could sell cars i mean i I worked at one of these junk stores at Ocean City on the boardwalk many years ago. You probably all, the owner, all the owner, the, the owner would say he would pull his hair and then he was bald, but he'd go, make sales, make sales, hey, hey, make sales, make sales, make me money. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? You know, knock the people over the head, buy a damn, buy a damn a dollar fifty t shirt, you know. Now, this is going back in 71, 72. So since we're talking about basically nothing, I was watching the <laughs> I, on cable. I think the got to run guys have a great. Hey, thanks, Hetriani, for coming See out. See you, Hetriani. That's, that's groovy that you stopped by, dude. 
that's got now that guy is an absolute player. Yeah, he can do metal. He, I mean, he he can cover it all from metal. You got quite a blue. few guys in here. You got Jesse, yeah. Hugh yeah. Caldwell, Hetriani, the dog paw. He's like out of this yeah. world. That I know for sure. Hack, 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 hack was guitar hack. Hack, was, you know, hack finished off with some uh, ZZ Top man. He played uh, Lagrange. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. That's so cool. That's got to be fun to be able to play songs all the way through, and you know, with a band and all. I, I give guys credit to play in bands. You know, it, you know. He calls himself a hack. I think he's much better than that. Glad you are not fooled like most others. His daughter will be our next governor here in Arizona in 2022. Well, hey, what can I tell you, Speed? What can I tell you, buddy? <laughs> it's better than a, uh, you know. I well, I'm going to give I'm going to give this guy a plug so if you don't get All mad right, give at him me. A plug. He yeah. cuz he he'll play guitar. He used to have a lot of YouTube uh, YouTube videos up but he took them down. Gussie Wells. He'll play some stuff in Discord when he can and he, and he's got all two amps and I mean I mean I mean it sounds excellent tune. You all you guys would enjoy if if we could get him to do something. He's another guy that probably doesn't has no idea how good he is. Well, he's got he got he has issues, other issues has, going yeah, on. Yeah, his health issues, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, Gus, I hope you feel better, B. And uh, Dale, you're probably hanging around there. Hope your hands are better. Dale's usually uh, lingering. Dale, because... I talk to Dale every day. He's in Discord. Yeah. Good yeah. man. Dale's I mean, all, everybody guy. that hangs around there, they're all good people. Good. Where's the thing? Quotes. Good people. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, cheers to everybody in the chat. Cheers. Everybody, everybody subscribed. Everybody watched their videos. Oh, Lar Lars is another real good guitar player. He comes in there. They're all good. Everybody. Some guys have some great guitar collections too. Larry, uh, Paul Lou's got all kinds of guitars. Dave, Dave R. I, mean, well, I don't know if he's he's not he left, but um, pick some paints. He's got some paints. Oh yeah, real good. What guitar did he just got, he just got a white. What did he just get a white? It's an Epiphone. Epi yeah, no, um, Les Paul. Epiphone, Les Paul, um, like a custom type of thing. I'll tell you what, I, 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 I might if if one of the stores. Uh, oh yeah, you know, DT, if we could get DT to play something, he had a he, he's he might have one. Was he had it up on his channel? He did this surf. He's really into. Surf. He, actually, he's kind of getting me into it. The surf type of sound, the clean right. sound. He did that. He was really good on that. Got to get some tremolo having with that stuff. Yeah, he's got he's got some really good equipment. I'll tell you what, I learned something that you know that the tremolo isn't all that. Blah, 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 blah. You can use the tremolo as just a kind of a wet effect. It really you can tone down all the shimmers or whatever you want to call that that it does to the sound, so it isn't so blah 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 blah. blah. You know, and it it sounds. Tremolo is pretty cool effect. I, I, I'm, I'm going to start playing around with that. Hugh yeah, Caldwell I think I only has year, 40, you ago. got 42 guitars, Hugh? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, now's the time to sell used guitars. I got eight and probably about six too many. My investment guy's secretary's brother-in-law has a bunch of old guitars. I said, hey, you know, if he's got anything, uh, Gibson or uh, Fender that's custom shop, I'd be interested in looking at it. But, you know, you know how that goes. It, you, you know, I, 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 nobody I, ever follows up on anything like that. Have you played a custom talk. before? I never have. Never have. I want see, to. I, I, just out of curious, you know, curiosity, just want to see what it sounds like. I mean, I think Bill... Is, is dreaming and maybe some asshole will go in there and give him five grand for that guitar. But you know, I, if I could get him down around four grand, I might consider it, but I mean, I got to figure that's some somewhat of a custom shop type guitar. They had him in there for like $8,000 in guitar center. I mean, I think I got a video in it one time when I was looking up for a couple years ago around when I bought the, um, yeah, well, that's, I think the first Les Paul, I'm not, I'm stupid, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not incredibly dumb. You know, I might be stupid, but I'm not incredibly done to pay $8,000 for a guitar. Sorry. 
because half the time you can probably go out and buy a two thousand dollar guitar and be just as happy. Because you're you're saying that, but you know, you say like, hmm, I got the money. Can I take the money with me? You play one, right? Oh my gosh, this is the best guitar I play. It, it, as crazy as I am, I'd say, well, I would said I said I would never spend a thousand dollars every guitar, and I think they're all over. Exactly. Well, <laughs> I have a, I have an ulterior motive for spending too much money on a guitar. I can't. I can't get my uh, the CEO of my corporation here, yeah, the family, to, Same here. To, get, <laughs> to get a new refrigerator, a new stove, yeah. and a new dishwasher. Well, actually, we did get and, a new refrigerator. You know, the money's uh, you know the money's there. Go get it. She goes, well, so you know, I'm using ice trays because our ice maker doesn't work. You know, it's right. 2021. Ice ice trays? Are you kidding me? Okay, so I really went off it. I went off the deep end back in July and she says, well, we can't get one until October. Well, guess what? It's November. We'd have one. So she didn't order. Okay. Right. Yeah. Problem everything's we, everything's and the backward. problem. The problem we have is that our house is so old. It was built in the twenties, 1920 something, 25, I think. And the doorways are small. So we have room for a bigger, what she wants, but what she wants, we can't get into the house. Yeah. <laughs> The back door and the front door are not big enough to get them in because they're Better too take wide the or whatever. Door jam apart and all. So, <laughs> so I, I bitched the other day. I had a meltdown about the ice cube because I'm putting, trying to put the ice trays, the ice trays full of water in there, and I'm spilling Without water spilling. all over the goddamn place. And we never had ice. Pissed. We never had ice maker until we moved in here. Well, I like crushed ice. So what we got to do is crack the ice tray into the thing, and then the ice crusher works. But the refrigerator just won't make the ice cubes. And yeah. we had it fixed once, but I'm not, you know, I'm not spending three hundred dollars again. So we had, a, had the goddamn we had thing a, fixed, and then we it had a refrigerator. Six months. They left us a refrigerator, mm -hmm. but it went off. But it did have the ice maker and the crush ice in. But the new one we got, we bought a new one. It doesn't. It makes ice, but no, you know, no crush. Yeah. That's all. So I teased my wife the other day. She goes, "Well, I looked. If we order one now, we'll get one in um in March." I said, okay, well, let's wait till March and then we'll get one maybe next August. <laughs> it took us three months, I think about three months to get it ours. Yeah, you can't get a goddamn appliance. They're, they're they're probably sitting out in one of those ships out in LA. You're right. You know? You're right. Those containers. <laughs> You're right. It's probably ship number 98 in line, you know, 100 ships or something. It's Unbelievable about that. But that's another story. We're not going to talk mm -hmm. about that. We could, but we won't. All right. We've done hour 20. I'm going to cut it. Yep. I got nothing else. We I got nothing else. Real quick, let me let me see what's going on here in the chat. I always enjoy chatting with you, not to mention my wife. <laughs> your voice. Oh, that's Mark. Oh, yeah. Mark Tan oh, Mark Tanner's in the house. Hey, Mark. Yes. What's happening? Now, there's a channel to watch. That guy could. Yeah, he, check he out just, Mark. He just put up a video. He sings. Um, he sings. He said he did the uh, Bob Singer. Did, didn't you just do the uh, dun, 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 dun. Turn the page. I think he just did turn the page. I love that song. He did it. He People are asking voice. if he can play guitar. So, um, yeah. and Mark, Mark, Mark? Taylor, and he just yeah, proved, he, he just all. proved he can. He just got a video uh, yeah. up. If y'all want okay. to check it, Mark, I, check it. I got, I got his bell. No, I, I missed that one. The one freezer, please don't ask me speed. Well, there you go. Everybody check each other's. YouTube yeah, channel. channel out for sure. And uh, we'll be back next week, probably. Uh, any catastrophe aside. And um, hope everybody does well and is healthy and um, is keeping their sanity. Can you believe it's going to, we got Thanksgiving at the end of the month? <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? You know, I've got two this, months for Christmas. You know, I told everybody I had this phobia. Anna Bill, my friends, Anna Bill had a uh, Halloween party Sunday and I didn't go. I'm not doing indoor anything with groups of people. Like I give See, you credit for doing that wedding. I'm par I'm paranoid. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, we I mean, went to I'm, that. Vac I'm vaccinated. You know, I have a guy. We went to the uh, Queen concert a few weeks ago, and that was sold out. And did you get the booster? We got it scheduled for November 16th or 19th, something like that. Okay. Yeah, we're getting That's it. Cool. The same That's thing, Moderna. I'm not old enough yet, but uh, you know, I'm a year behind, so I got to wait you for the second wave. What you got to be sixty? I think you got to be over sixty-five to get the booster. No, you know you got to wait a certain amount of months. No, not sixty-five. If you have the two shots, which you did, right? Yeah. 
and you got to wait a certain amount of months for the I last shot. They're only doing the nah. people with uh, per, you know that that de- really have issue health issues. And, well, I mean, um, if you're in that age group, which you are, you know, over sixty two, whatever it is, you're sixty five. Oh, you're not sixty five. Maybe I'm not sixty five yet. I think it's sixty five or older right now. Well, I am, anyway, and, I, I, and I, I do have the health risk. You know, I got pre, all the, right pre diabetic. Yeah. Just found yeah. out. Right. Yeah. Janet needs to get it. She went to. So she went to. Uh, she went to Walgreens to get it and she sat there and, and they were so unorganized. So after uh, half an hour, she said, okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> I tell you, it's so we did it at the hospital, Gettysburg hospital. Well, and we were both times we were with both shots. We were in and out in five minutes. Yeah. With the, with the regular shot that we got, you know, the first two, we went through the hospital, but this time she tried to do it through Walgreens. So I said, do it, whatever we went through before, do it where we went to the hospital. You went right in, you got the shot. Boom. You know, she told him she was going to get some fresh air and she just left. You know, you're supposed to wait for 15 right. minutes before you leave. She didn't. She said, the hell with that. I'm leaving. <laughs> I got we got, I got the, the flu shot and then pneumonia shot. And I was thinking about getting the um, single shot. I haven't made in my mind with that. So. Well, just don't do it, Jesse. Just don't get all these shots at once. That's what Jesse well, yeah, did I got sick had on a bad flu reaction. Shot. Yeah. Flu shot, well, I had a reaction. That, that tends to happen to people. Not all the time, but sometimes. It's so, all right. So we're done. Thanks everybody for checking out. You doing the outro? Oh uh, yeah. Since I um, yeah, let me do the outro because um, it's right here. So thanks Video for thought. joining us tonight, folks, and uh, keep your eye out on everybody's channel for new videos. I'll say woof one more time to you, Doc. Woof. Thank you, Dale Palmer. Oh, there's Dale. He was there. He was there the whole time. Oh, he was there. I he just he don't. It's, yeah. He just don't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I understand. I know Dale. I know Dale's. You know, Dale. Hope you're feeling better, man. Thank you, ladies. All right, and Mark. Gentlemen. You take care too, Mark. And uh, good night, everybody. All righty. Bye, Here y'all. We go. All right. I'm gonna hang around for a minute, Mitch. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> That's not the right That's one. That's the intro. We're going to do know. a new show. And so we're doing a new show. <laughs> we're not. We're not. Hold doing on. A new we're, show. we're not doing a new show. Man, I got it. Uh, Jeff. Hey, Jeff, you just showed up and we're leaving. And James Miscellaneous. Oh, James was doing the dishes. Hey, James. How you doing? James, I liked your last video, man. That was funny. Yeah, we're we're getting ready to sign off. You see, you can watch this. Uh, this I don't know. This weird thing. Uh, dance away there. So yeah. y'all have a good week. I gotta play some mean guitar, whoever did the uh good night.